And I'm gonna guess what we found in the woods. Just wandering around. Peacock. Domesticated animal that went wild to our benefit. Watch how this went down. It's walking like a turkey, but it doesn't look like a turkey. Do you have weird, do, you have, do the turkeys have things coming out the tops of their heads here? Not really, no. <laughs> These ones do. The, out of the nose? A little, a little bump out of the nose? Dude, if that's a turkey, I've never seen anything like that. All right, man, what we got here? Yeah, luck is what we have. We got luck. We called out to the universe, we wanted some food, and we got food. Right. So what, this isn't a turkey, is it? No, we're four or five days past turkey season, and we came across this, and it's definitely not a turkey. We were driving driving out to our spot, and uh, we're, we're, we're in there, truck scratching our heads, and I'm <clears throat> zooming in on this thing, trying to figure it out, because it's, it's got you know iridescent up here. It's definitely not a wild turkey. Walks like a turkey. Walk like a turkey. It's got uh, feet like a turkey. But it's got this crest and the iridescent neck, and so like there's no way that's a turkey. I mean, I, I'm not from here, so I've never seen your turkeys. They're a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, not that, not, <laughs> not that, that different. different. No. So the story on this is it's an escaped bird. Yeah, yeah, they've gone wild out here, and so they'll travel back and forth over property lines and built like a turkey. It eats turkey food. They compete with the natural creatures that are out here. So we try to manage them. We take them out. They are an invasive. So basically, we can't leave these. We can't leave these run around. No, 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 no. It's not good for nothing. No. Nope. Right. So if we if we let them go, basically going to diminish the, the turkey population. They're eating the same foods, so they can eat it, right? Just like somebody's pet pig that goes wild out here, they start destroying things. They eat all the wildlife's food. Today we eat it. Well, and that's exactly how Texas got into problems with their. Uh, your, uh, the wild pigs are occupying the same habitat as the javelina. Uh, there, there are millions of wild pigs in Texas. Yeah, uh, and, just and, millions. And eating the same foods as the javelina and causing lots of problems for them, right? Yeah, we haven't seen javelina on the property in about a year now. And you got pig, and you got pigs all the time. And we got pigs all the time. So you know you can imagine the same <clears throat> the same problem you're gonna have with this if you don't take this out, then you're gonna add in a bunch of peacocks instead of yeah, turkey. We have turkey all around us. Every day we've been out here, turkey have been around us. But these guys get established, they're eating the same stuff. Wilderness can't take it. It's a good looking bird. And yeah. we're hungry, right? We're off. That's a good 20, 15 pounds once we dress oh, it out. Yeah, I'm gonna say this four or five pounds of breast meat alone. We're gonna be eating real good now. Shoot, yeah. <laughs> You're hungry too. It's time. It's time. Feel that man. Up there. Plumage. Right there. Feel that. It's got some weight. Yep. <laughs> I grab a leg, you grab a leg. <laughs> right on, man. There we go. Drumsticks. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. One thing cool about about these that's going to be interesting is down here is the craw, and so this is going to be an indicator of maybe some of the other things that we've missed. We're getting the mulberries, we're getting a few other things, but a lot of times when you get turkeys and birds like this inside that craw is going to be the raw food that they've been eating. So there might be some berry bushes we're not sure about, or some nuts, or uh, or some even chili patin peppers. And so if we know what to look for. It gives a heads up. More food is good. All right, man. Good job. Got the skin on, which is what we want. Yeah, We're gonna All be a little flavor bit, in there. A little bit of fat in there, but not much. But uh, yeah, flavor for sure. That's a pretty lean bird, man. <laughs> it's not bad though. You got some. Heft. <laughs> it's got some heft to it. Yeah, for sure. But uh, it's definitely still a lean bird. So we're gonna do what we, we talk about keeping the gizzard. Yeah. Yeah, the gizzard is one of my favorites. Got a heart, liver inside of this. You know, we, we down in the south, we eat these all the time. This is a delicacy. Yeah. So So you, do you want to keep the, the liver for bait or do we want to, do we want to uh, eat it? Foul liver? Let's eat it. Yeah, we're, we're hungry now. Yeah, and we foul liver is pretty soft. So Yeah. we're good. Let's so that, eat it some liver. So anybody's falling on, man, this is just dry pluck. We didn't do anything special with it. We don't have we don't have the technology to, I mean, or the interest to boil it. Boil water, dunk it, and all that stuff. You just dry pluck it. There's a couple feathers on there, but we can just singe it. We'll singe it real quick on the flame, and then what we're gonna do, we'll put it in pot, right? Yeah, I think pot, we're season it. Maybe we'll down. get some onions in there or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some wild onions. You just don't want a dry bird. 
No, it's and it, it would be we could spit it and it would look really cool on camera, but we're hungry. We want to eat the whole thing. Yeah, we're right? assuming we don't get another one of these too. Well, so, it could happen, I suppose. Yeah, who knows? But we're looking good now. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this bird. Yeah, man. All right. So next uh, next thing you know, let's get it on the fire. Hey, man, what's what's the plan? We're gonna keep a little bit of the inside here. Uh, not too much. Not Gizzards, too much. heart, everything else is pretty soft. So I'm gonna remove the gizzard. And we'll also be going down up on under through there. Out of the rib cage. <laughs> Try to get a little bit of the feathers off, but I mean they're gonna we're gonna have this on for long enough, it's gonna not matter. But skin is gonna be where the fat is. That's gonna be that's gonna be good. He's stealing your corn, man. Yeah, we is got the, we got it back though. This, that's the one that's uh is setting off the uh, hog trial all the time. The feeder, yeah. That one. Just more corn, huh? Yeah. So again, yeah, you want to check inside that craw, look for what they're eating, and see if there's anything out there in the forest that they found that you've missed, and that way you know what to look for. Right. So, the craw is where it's happening. If you notice there's flies on it, that's, you know, standard fare, right? South Texas, man. Yeah. All right. So all you're going to do is reach in and grab a Oh, yeah. This is a good-sized gizzard. <laughs> this is awesome. Check out the size of that gizzard right so there. So gizzards, that's just muscle, right? It's muscle and it's got like a Teflon container, a, a circle container inside. So the gizzard, it's pretty awesome. You just take it, I'm gonna split it open kind of like a clam. Oh right, yeah, we did this with the grouse, right? Yeah. And it's and it's got, usually it's full of pebbles. stones and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, little pebbles, this is the grinder. The grinder. Yep. Yeah, so. you, don't, you can't eat that because obviously it's full of sand. You wouldn't want to do that. But. Nope, so you open it up and then you pull the liner of the uh, the grinder out of there. Right. So right, 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 right. All out. Yeah, we did this. Oh yeah, and this is this is one of the most tasty pieces of meat on birds. Yeah. So, to me at least. Well, we're not gonna waste anything. So. No, not at all. If we can get the edge of the liner, it'll come right out. There we go. All right. Here's your liver. Liver? Yeah. You want it in the pot? Oh yes. Right below you. I there. actually put that on the fire. And here's a heart. If you're just following along, we're using well water because we're not drinking that San Antonio stuff. No? No. Not happening? Uh, go visit San Antonio, see what they put in that water, man. <laughs> I'll eat the fish, but... So if, so if you didn't have access to well water, what would you do? Uh, you drink going... it, you drink it, right? You'd have to. No. No? No, so you we're... It? We've got a creek access right over here. And the creeks coming into the river, most of these creeks out here in uh, this part of the country are only three, four, five miles long. Yeah. So you see the creek, you see all the crawdads coming out of there. It looks murky and muddy. You go up two miles, crystal clear. You go up another mile, it's actually coming out of the ground. And all throughout those miles, you can find seeps where more springs are coming in. Yeah. So you can find just fresh water, clear water coming in. And uh, you get your water right there. Wow. Yeah, straight from the source. A little bit more water in there. Yeah, I think a little bit more of that adobo. I think it's going to be enough humidity in there that it's just going to yeah. steam itself. Yeah. So we got a little bit of division of labor going on. Bob's down there setting fishing lines, and I'm going to get some berries. And the last meal is going to be turkey hen, peacock. Giant crow. Wow, that totally missed. I keep moving the camera, keep moving the Tools keep moving everything. Get all in the frame. A handful of berries is a handful of berries. What are you gonna do? There's a little bit of a pot, say up to there so far. That, like that, not bad. You gotta shake this one here. 
Let's go shake it. Come on, shake it together. Come shake it. Question always in the Wilderness Living Challenge is are you getting your calories back? Berries taste good, but are you getting your calories back? That's the question. Come and have a look. What do you guys think? That's about a third if I'm being completely honest. Quite a haul, but still only about a third. Hard to say how much is there, but uh, a pound wouldn't be far off. I think we did the calculation, you'd need 15 kilograms or something like that of blueberries to make a go of it. Berries are all probably the same. These are fairly high sugar content. These might be a a little bit less than that, but still need several pounds to make a go just on berries alone. Doesn't mean they're not delicious. And they keep our carbs, sugar levels up, and they keep our brain functioning, which is more important than anything. If you're done without sugar, you know what it's like. Your brain gets real foggy real fast. This will be a good shot of sugar. Keep us thinking right and remembering what we're doing and rather than get big brain fog all the time. When you get ahead of your calories, you get to take a break. So that, uh, ostrich? It's a toucan. <laughs> it's cooking up pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The emerald turkey? Yeah, our, our, uh, yeah, we got some of the new, new mythological emerald turkey. Yeah, I looked that up on Google. <laughs> we'll find something. If you're not, uh, you're just tuning in now, you gotta watch this whole series, man. We just finished off a cat. Not just any cat. <laughs> the civet. The trash panda's cousin. <laughs> it's, it's actually really good. Yeah. So we, uh, we're contemplating eating the hawk. <laughs> and, the uh, mega hummingbird. Can't take any more food right now. They're getting hung up. That's like five pounds of meat at least. There's more than five pounds each. I know, I know. It's the size of a turkey. I'd say, I'd say there's probably seven pounds a piece. All in. We got leftover cat bones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and broth. As you do. Uh. Yeah, I had a pure, pure uh, berry BM. It, it was it was purple, just just purple. People pay a lot of money for these cleanses. Oh, dude! It's they, called the mulberry cleanse. This is like hunter gatherer cleanse. <laughs> it's like everything your body doesn't want all at the same time. Hey, but we're all organic here. Hundred percent. Yeah. Go us. <laughs> Gluten free too. Gluten free. <laughs> flies. Oh, in my beard. You pay for that. These flies are crazy, man. They don't care like honey badgers so where are we at we're trying to decide we're trying to decide what to do basically if we, if we run around if we do a lot of work we can't fish for that way yeah we can't get a fish to save our lives yet yeah we've got a possum hanging out which i feel i feel bad about but I, if i if we do anything with it it's going to spoil he's taking a nap he's got some shade that's what they do in yeah the day. they're nocturnal so he's having a sleep yep uh, not eternal sleep yet, but we're doing it humanely. Always. So yeah, so the big question is, what do we want to do, man? Well, we have to eat. We have Again. To, we got a little bit of catching up. But not right right now. No. Because my stomach's full. Well, the giant robin's going to fill you up, man. Uh, Roadrunner always fills me up. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, look up the emerald turkey. It's like, it's actually, it's almost extinct. <laughs> Until this morning. Yeah. There's only one left. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> it's a, no, it's two female, but 
It was the only, they were, they were gonna go extinct anyway. There's only two female left. But listen, we are not fooling around. We're actually very respectful, but we're happy to be full. We just, we can't keep the name of this thing straight. So <laughs> we've, we've given up. <laughs> we're just drunk on calories. That's exactly what it's it is. Pretty, it's, it's pretty it's true, right? Yeah. To get your energy come back finally. Yeah, because those flies swarming right, right now, an hour and a half ago, would have just been just making you tweak. Yeah, we weren't in so. good. We weren't in good spirits. Not great. The mulberry spirits. Yeah, mulberry was it, but there's no calories in that, man. You can't live on berries. No. I don't even know how much your body takes out of that because it looked like I just got rid of most of it. It feels good for a little while. It does. It's a good high. So anyway, we're gonna sit here for a bit, chill out. All right, we gotta dig into that turkey. <laughs> you gotta stretch your belly. I am the machine. You gotta turn into eating machine. All right, bring it. Bring it? Yeah. Yep. Plunk it down right there? I can do this. As long as I don't have to move around, I'm just gonna relax. You haven't seen it. It looks really good. I'm gonna go grab it. I believe you, and you, bought, you got your adobo sauce on it. Dude, it looks really good. For real? So we made a little bit of a mistake when we did this and we ran out of... Uh, Happy mistake. Yeah, no, it turned out real good. We, we ran oh, out of liquid. That smell. That smells like KFC. Or Dude. Look straight at, up. Like, a, like original recipe. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that drumstick. Look at that drumstick. That's from a wild crow. Giant wild crow. A green one. Emerald giant crow. Look at that. It's like. Wait until <laughs> you eat this. You guys will swear. Like we, that skin. You swear we cook this in the, sto in the oven. We did not cook this out. in the oven. We, we accidentally. We accidentally did this. I didn't accidentally. I was, I'm a professional. Look at that skin, man. Exactly That's exactly what we need right now. <laughs> We're stuff. We're completely stuff. I can make room for a little bit. That's wild. That's like, that's a perfect cup, man. Perfect cup. Mm -hmm. I'm keep a skin down there. That's dinner table stuff. You could invite your guests and they'd be happy to join you. Mm hmm. So, Bob, Bob said, and I'm going to repeat it because I agree, this is like the best. Owl I've ever eaten in my life. It's really, it's going perfect. If we didn't burn the bottom, probably burnt a little bit on the bottom because the too much liquid came out. Mm -hmm. It's like a perfectly steamed bird. I never thought we could do it like that. I mean, it, it was on the fire for a couple hours. But like, look at that meat. We managed to do this on the fire without like screwing it up, pay, not paying attention. It's perfectly moist. Not no no there's no butterball. This is better a, than butterball, man. This is wild waterfowl. You want the emu? Oh yeah, need a little bit of bald eagle. Ooh, that's hot. Everything but the beak. So, we're on point. We're on point today because we got dessert, actually, and a meal. Yeah, <laughs> that, what do you think, three pounds? Were you're the you're saying there? three, I, yeah, I guess. So we're gonna get a pound and a half each. A <laughs> it's funny, right? Our stomachs will love that. <laughs> A lot of bird right here, man. It's a lot of crow. It's a lot mm -hmm. of uh, bones in there. I don't know if, how much I'm going to eat, but I can definitely eat the broth. The broth is going to be fairly rich. So if you don't know what we're eating, this is cat. And this is bird. And this is berries. 
Yeah. yeah. Got a few bird bones in there, too. Yeah, there's some onion in there. But Wild onion. That cactus crackers. really gives a lime flavor to the stuff. I like it because it, you know what it reminds me of? Mm. Rabbit stomach. No. Yeah. The good old days. Gopher, gopher. Gopher stomach. I correct myself. You got to be specific, right? Can you do a muskrat stomach? Muskrat? Was no, it gopher? We didn't, we didn't do muskrat. Oh, it was groundhog. groundhog. It was groundhog. Yeah. It was groundhog. We're going to do gopher here, man. Well, we got to get some more variety because we can't just live off of this. this is... Gopher. Gopher is good eating. <laughs> You'll see. We got to get fish and we got to get turtles. So this is only end of day two, but we've been fishing hard, man. We've been fishing hard. It's and been weird. It's been a tough go. Real tough go. Anyway, we're going to plow this in. How much bird we got in there? We got. Another five pounds at least. Yeah, man, like, I don't know if I can pick this up. It's pretty I hot. haven't even got to the point where I'm <laughs> picking on the carcass yet. We're still taking out chunks of meat. That's that's a, that's a two, two and a half pounds right there. There's a bunch of legs. I mean, there's there's a lot in there. That's the torso. There's lots of broth. I mean, we're, we're going to be good. We're not going to be hungry today. We might have made up our calories from yesterday. It's going to be tough. If you're not, if you're never not familiar with the challenge, the challenge is you don't lose any weight. It is ridiculously hard not to lose weight, even if you go camping for a weekend or a week, you know, five days, you go and bust your balls for five days, you're gonna lose a few pounds, right? Yeah, undoubtedly. No matter how much food you bring with you. Every trip. And the more fun you're having, the less time you even remember to eat a lot of times. Yeah, you don't eat as much because you're busy. <clears throat> so this is how you do, how you do what you do. You get your broth in the bottom there. That's your uh, cat broth. Cat broth, and then you put your bird in the cat broth. <laughs> you laughing back there? <laughs> 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 your bird and your cat and then they they do a little party in there sounds like a really messed up <laughs> dr seuss book <laughs> so they're having a party in there the fat from all that bone marrow souping around in there and then uh we're gonna need to eat it that's good That's really good. That's like a good gravy. Gravy This is sauce. much better than going to sleep on a stomach full of cactuses and mulberries yesterday. You were hungry yesterday, right? This morning, yeah. you were burning. Yeah. Burning. You need some of those mulberries to get started out with and some meat. Yeah, Bob went right for the right for the mulberries to get the sugar up. Mm. It didn't work though, did it? It wasn't until you ate the cat. Cat brought it back. Yeah, and then we got all chatty, and your brain comes back online. Yeah, but we didn't eat the cat till noon, past noon. It took us a long time to get that cat going. If you can do cat, you can do right. Oh, it's done right, dude. I could eat this broth all day. I don't know. I'm gonna put more cactus in so I get more food. I'm putting cactus in everything. <laughs> so I like cactus powder. I'm not a big fan of the. Glockids. The f well, the Glock is 100%, but the fl the flower pod things. Hmm. Maybe I gotta put those in the stew too. Might well. It'll eat. Maybe next time. Maybe no, then we'll, we'll have a balance between that and the lime flavor. Honey in that tree back there. Oh, the honey in the tree. You guys gotta stick around for the honey in the tree. Make some honey mead. I can't, I don't like, like you forgetting that, man. I know. Well, no, I'm looking for that. Mulberries is good, good, sweet, but I'm ready for some honey. Like, Dude, just I've never had fresh honey out of a tree, so that's gonna be pretty good, man. Mm. You guys understand how we eat? This is how we, eat. we pound it in there. This might be the only time we survive the wilderness living challenge. Welcome and, to Texas. And keep my weight up. It's it's gonna be close though. I'm I'm not 100% positive it's gonna happen, but I'm I'm more confident than I was. Like last year we had a lot of food. Last year we had a lot of food, but we didn't have time to eat a lot of food. We processed food a lot, and we only really caught up by the like the third day. And you can't catch up by then. Like by th the third day, and then we moved camp, and people don't realize you like you know how long how long it takes. Like two o'clock before the time we got the cat ready to eat. It's yeah. a long time, man. People don't realize. Don't realize cooking yeah. a fire and all this stuff. It's time consuming. Modern conveniences really just give us our life. Yeah. But our ancestors, 
This is all they did. Yeah, can you imagine just storing it on the stove? You can go and get your next meal, but we can't do that. We gotta come back, make the fire, make sure the fire's got wood, run around, get berries, eat berries. Like it's, it's not that much fun actually, is it? <laughs> it's monotonous. <laughs> can you imagine doing this every day? Hey guys, I'm back in Canada and I've been doing a pile of editing. I wanna keep this video series rolling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release a video every Tuesday and every Friday. This is gonna be going on for about two and a half months. I have 19 episodes in total. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is support the channel. What I want you to do, if you can, is please watch the video entirely from the beginning right to the end. YouTube is tracking all sorts of uh, data in their algorithm and what they wanna see is a high watch time or retention time. So if you guys can do that, you like the series, you want me to continue doing that, that's one small way you guys can help. Leave lots of comments down on the bottom, not just one, but a bunch of them, that helps. Of course, hitting the like button is super easy, you can do that too, and sharing it. If everybody shared it to five people, it would get big really fast. And lastly, if you wanna support it monetarily, you can buy a t-shirt. I'm hoping to get some more t-shirts up. If the t-shirts are available, I'll provide a link. If not, you can always offer a PayPal donation that will come directly through me. To me, you can also hit the sponsorship button. It's a new uh, feature that YouTube has added. You click sponsor and it's a monthly uh, subscription. So I think it's $5.95 or something like that. And uh, ongoing supports the channel. So guys, I hope you enjoy the series. Um, if you guys want me to continue doing this, you want me to go to other different places, uh, let me know. If you have access to land, um, you know, private land, and there's a lot of hunting, fishing, opportunities, trapping, that sort of things, and you wanna invite me up and a guest or a couple, a couple guests, let me know. Shoot me an email for that. I do not always get to all the comments to do my best, but if it's, a, uh, if it's an important thing like, hey, you want to uh, hook me up with some land and you've got it ready to go, let me know. So uh, I'd like to explore and open different doors and avenues and see where this, uh, this YouTube thing and the survival wilderness living thing takes me. So I would definitely let, welcome some, uh, some offers of getting into new lands all over the world. So let me know. I mean, it looks like a turkey. Well, it's a turkey, it's a turkey, it's a turkey to me, but I don't know the difference between a Canadian turkey and 